Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak because they knew he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowd went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's interesting the, <clears throat> the way St. Luke approaches uh, this particular miracle, which then expands into a whole bunch of miracles. Um, and Jesus, you can almost image him entering into Simon Peter's house, uh, which we think was really virtually across from the synagogue in Capernaum. And uh, Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever. And so what did they do? They interceded with him to, to heal her right out of the gate. And it was for them an act of faith, uh, but it also... Uh, became a moment of powerful healing for Simon's uh, mother-in-law. Uh, and I guess that really is the first question you know, for us, is that as we allow him into our home of faith, do we bring him to what needs to be healed and what needs to be touched by his love immediately? That's the, the first question. Uh, the second is... Uh, Really, what happens in Capernaum after that is that the word spread that he'd heal Simon's mother-in-law. And so they brought everybody in town to him, which is really powerful uh, and tremendous. And of course, he, he laid hands on everyone and cured them. Uh, and so that's the second invitation for us, to truly be intercessors. Because that's virtually what an intercessor is. Someone who brings someone to Jesus to be healed, to be touched by his love. Uh, so during this Mass, uh, uh, we hear Jesus speaking to us about the, the good news of the Kingdom of God. Uh, but we also are called to uh, be his intercessors. We bring people to him, especially. Uh, and so as we receive his body and blood in this Eucharist, uh, let's pray for the grace to truly uh, uh, be healed by his love, but also to bring healing through our intercession with him to those that are in our circle of life, our circle of love, uh, our circle of God's kingdom. <laughs>